Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe at the end. I really appreciate it. So here we have another Heathgate SB200. He needs a lot of work. So first off, I'm going to do the filter cap board kit with Hart from Harbach. Has some resistors are blown apart. Well, they were blown. Someone changed them. Did a sh shoddy job. Uh, Replacing them to the input coil have really overheated wiring wire around them the enamel wire probably end up rewinding them. I'm gonna change grid loading resistors, the mica caps, lead lengths are long and they they've been tagged on to the old wiring. Looks like they've been changed multiple times. So I'm gonna change the plate blocking cap. Plate blocking cap is right next to the terminal here on the load side so I'm going to extend that out rewind the Paris Expressors one of them snapped right off band switch looks okay and put order switch looks okay okay someone changed this lead so I'll, I'll address that uh, so I'll do everything else I do and I'll be back see you soon Hey everybody, so I'm back with the completed amplifier. I'm going to go over everything I did. This thing needed a lot of work. So first things first, I put the hard block kit in, change the meter lamp, put in reverse connected diodes across the meter movement, put a little spacer between the plate blocker, replace the plate blocker, wow new parasitic suppressors, got rid of that weird strap that was tapped over here, and put the proper solid conductor to the proper point on the coil. I had to take this apart and rebuild it. it had oh, it had some damaged plates which I did not see at first. Okay, so I will show you the back. I'll be right back. Also got a brand new set of pencil lab tubes. Awesome company. Great customer service. Spectacular product. I'll be right back. Okay, so I rewound the two input slugged co uh, coil forms. So they took two different size wires. I used my caliper and I figured out the gauge. So I replaced those. I replaced all the caps minus the one for 80. That one was fine. So they're all the proper value. Some of them were the wrong value or burnt. I mean the wire was like burnt or crisp. The, the um, enamel was coming right off. Okay, so I changed the grid loading resistors. One of them just popped right off. Um, change the mica cap on either side, change the 3.3k resistor here, the choke was open up here so I wound a new one, a piece of ferrite, so I'll show you all this, both the SO239s are okay, someone had changed this so that was already done, so I'll flip over the amp and show you the bottom, also compressed all the clips, I always do that. And I clean them with deoxy gold, clean the input rotary switch deoxy gold, clean the output rotary slash band switch deoxy gold. So, I'll put it back in. Okay, so I oiled the fan right here, replaced the resistor for the uh, high voltage function on the meter, multimeter. Changed the 33 ohm resistor right here. This was way out of tolerance. Changed the cap. Clean the tear relay contacts, clean the multimeter switch contacts over here, reinstall this standby operate switch, touched up on some solder joints, and uh, put some zip ties in. It had wood screws holding the front panel on, on the, uh, uh, either the, I think it was the top, yeah, the top two were wood screws, so I replaced those with 632 screws with washers and cap nuts. So, this thing is all set. Produces full output on all bands. And it is good to go. Good for another 30 plus years. <laughs> Great amplifiers. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. My phone number is 203-892-4119. I have lots more to do but I am getting them done. 
one by one. So even though I have you know, amps to do, I'm still going through them rel relatively quickly. But um, I'm not I'm not taking any shortcuts or anything. I I always go through them very 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 thoroughly. So well, thanks for watching. Once again, my phone number is two zero three eight nine two. 4119 and I always secure the wire right here because this if this flaps around I've seen it actually break off so it's easy enough to put that sticky thing on and zip tie it so okay have a great day